is tracking as much of a pain as you're telling yourself. Hopefully you know by now that one of the things I will recommend when I'm talking to someone about their nutrition is to track their food. To take an accurate log of where they're currently assigning their calories and everything else they might put into their mouth. Usually by using an app like MyFitnessPal. And I get it. I get it's a bit of a pain in the arse. I get that from both doing it myself and finding it a bit that way. And I also get it from being told that probably, probably multiple thousands of times now as the reason why someone's not done it. I've recommended it. Seen them again next week. I've not, I've not done it. It was a bit of a faff. And my question here is, how much of a pain in the arse is it really? I get it's a bit of a pain in the arse, but it's the highest return on investment pain in the arse we could possibly do. And it's not actually anywhere near as much effort as we're often telling ourselves. Maybe it takes 20 minutes to get the app set up, to watch the video, to get your head around how it works. And then going forward, tracking what we eat can take somewhere between 10 seconds and, and two or three minutes for a total of half an hour across the course of the week. But that's not what we tell ourselves. We tell ourselves it takes way more time and effort than that. What we're actually reluctant to do is just to do it at that point because it just feels a bit of a faff and, and we know it's gonna tell us something that's perhaps a hard pill to swallow. And ultimately, if we're not willing to put in those few minutes, three, four times a day, then we've got to question that. Because in countless examples of people who first started, they've poured their hearts out down the phone to me, they've told me the thing that they want to change, it's a 10 out of 10 importance, and then when they've recommended tracking, they've not done it. And I've got to question if something's a 10 out of 10 importance or a seven out of 10 importance in your life, and you're not willing to spend a few minutes, a few times a day doing something that will help change that. So in summary, I get it's a pain in the ass. It's probably not as much of a pain in the ass as you're telling yourself, and it's the highest return on investment pain in the ass you could possibly do.